Good night, Margo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the horses. Who are you texting? No one. Just my friend Avery. Avery. A Avery. Is it a girl's name or a boy's name? Does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter unless it's a boy. I know it makes you a boy. Uh, who you do? Your bald head. Oh, yes. I think Gru realizes early on that he's perhaps not cut out to be the number one supervillain in the world and that that's okay. And that perhaps being the best dad he can be is more important than anything. Do you think people are um, sort of pushed into feeling that they have to be the absolute best at something? I think there comes a point in your life when you say, I am, I am going to do the best that I can, um, but I may not, like I always wanted to play professional hockey. I thought, because I was a pretty good goalie, but there comes a certain point in your life when you say, am I really good enough to go play professional hockey? And yes, I was, but, but I'm, I'm the rarity because I, I could pretty much excel at whatever I wanted. Mr. Gru, Agent Lucy Wilde of the Anti-Villain League. You're gonna have to come with me. Oh, sorry, I- Police! You know, you really should announce your weapons after you fire them. For example. <laughs> Lipstick taser! He gets a job with the Anti-Villain League and he is, he is employed because as a villain, you know, much like say Hannibal Lecter is employed, he's in custody, but he is employed to, as a villain, he understands how the villainous mind works. And it, it is, you know, it is assumed that he is the one that can lead to finding the, uh, the true villain. Can you, are there any other parallels between him and Lecter that you could unpick? Boy. Um, well, I guess the other parallel is that kids love Hannibal Lecter. Um, and, and I know Silence of the Lambs was a massive family hit. Um, so I, I think that would, that would probably be the other parallel. Cruise back in the game with cool cars, gadgets, How was it working? and weapons. How often each day, roughly, do you have a despicable thought? Um, I would say I have a despicable thought once every six months. Yeah, that's how pure I am. What was the last one you had? Um, somebody pulled into a parking space that I'd been waiting for. Jesus. Mm. Did you kill them? I didn't. No. No. I meekly drove away. <laughs>